hello everyone welcome back to my channel from today onwards we are going to start with the sequel series the sequel is also sometimes pronounced as sql okay so in the first video today we are going to see how to download sql server management studio which is also known as ssms so using this platform we are going to run the sql queries okay so to download this what you need to do is you need to go on your web browser so i have chrome open right now and i'm going to search download sql server management studio and when i search this the first link pops up which says which is from microsoft and which gives me the link to download it so i select this link i scroll down and I see this download SSMS and you see where it says download just click this and it will start downloading it will take a few minutes to download and once it downloads it will look like this okay so when you when it is downloaded and you click that folder it would pop up a window like this now in this window it is asking you if you want to change the location where it will be installed so currently i am not changing the location where it will be installed in case you want to change it then you can do so next i will go to the install button so it took a few minutes to load all the packages and once it loaded all the packages it gives me this window where it says setup completed and i don't have to do anything else after this i just close this and let me see if it is installed okay so as soon as i search ssm in my search box it pops up this now let's see if it works okay it took a few seconds but it it did get connected okay so now it asks me to log into some server but we haven't installed a server yet so we need a server also for sql so what we will do is we will go back to our chrome and search for sql server download again there is this first link from microsoft which says sql server downloads we will click this link and we will scroll down now there are two versions one is the developer version and one is the express version so i i just need a developer version because i'm just using for my own practice so it says license for development or test database while the express version is more for production environment so i will select this and click download okay so this was pretty fast let's open this now okay so it is loading some basics let's see what it asked me okay it asked me for some options so it says install type basic custom download media what is inside basic says like basic installation type to install sql server engine so i'll go with the basic one because i don't want really any major features okay and these then it's asked me for this accept i accept this i i'm okay with this location in case you want to change the location you can select browse and change the location and then i click install so now we have the ssms that is sql server management studio as well as the sql server downloaded and installed on my system so now the question arises how do we connect sql server to the management studio what you need to do is the first thing you need to do is that you need to check if the sql server is running so what you will do is you will search 
services and in the services you will search for sql server so yeah here yeah. i have two sql servers running you can have only one that is absolutely fine and you should see that this is running in case it is not running or you are facing any issues what you can do is you can click restart stop or pause and then run again for me it is currently running so i will not do anything now now when i come to my sql server uh, sorry the management studio i will click connect say connect to database engine now this is my sql server name which automatically pops up because i have connected it once in case it doesn't pop up then what you need to do is you need to select this drop down select browse for more and you will see this icon the plus icon click it and it will pop up the server names that are installed on your system so for me i have two servers installed i will select the second one click ok and i have windows authentication so i select window windows authentication and then i select this checkbox this is important otherwise it will not connect it asks you to check if you trust the server certificate so i say yes i check it and then i connect it now you see my server is connected on the left hand side i see the option of database and all the other option we will explore how to create a database how to create tables how to insert data into a table and how to retrieve data from that table in the next video so next video is going to is going to be about commands like create insert and select so in case you want to learn about those commands then please wait for the next video for this video that was it in today's video the recap is follows we we, we learned how to, dis, uh, how to download SSMS and install it, how to download and install the SQL Server. And once we have downloaded both the softwares, how to connect the SQL Server to the Management Studio. So this was the first step. And from the next class, we will start learning about the SQL commands. I hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye for today.